Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and thank you for visiting me here by the corner. I truly appreciate you guys all. I do, I do, I do. Okay, family matters and there is family matters, guys. Yeah, family is important and also there are issues in the family, you guys. You know, where, you know, when we have family and all that with parents and all that, it is fun, okay? Yes, it's fun because yeah, our parents are home and yeah, sometimes you want to make your mom breakfast in bed and all that and you do it guys, right? Yeah, sometimes yeah, you just want to go have your breakfast outside, right? But here's the thing, our parents get to leave us and yeah, we get left only as siblings in the family where like yeah, the older person would want to be listened to where they'll be thinking that okay, these are my children now and I, they, they're gonna listen to me where like no you are not the parent you cannot replace a parent when you are a sibling it's just so impossible guys you know it's just so impossible for a kid to replace a parent and now they want to rule all the siblings guys you know yeah and here's the thing competition that was now it has turned into envy guys and hatred and all of that guys right because one would tell you like yo i'm older than you you gotta listen to me and all that but you don't got to listen to somebody who's older than you if you don't want to especially when they're on about the bs you see what i'm saying yeah because yeah some people would tend to be like oh i'm this goody goody person I go to church, yeah, I wear these long dresses, I, yeah, I'm a Muslim and all that, right? So, yeah, everybody would see them as in they are holy, yes, they are a warrior prayer, and, yeah, all they do is help people out, guys, you know? Help people out to understand stuff and all that and whatnot, only to find out, no, some people don't do it all like that guys you know recently i just discovered something that i was somebody's enemy guys you know where like i didn't know that i was an enemy and yeah i accepted it say like yes we are for enemies i mean what can i do about it what can i do about it guys you know so yeah it popped out out of my nephew unintentionally and you were like, yeah, you haven't been visiting us for a long time. Have a seat. My sister, have a seat. How are you doing? Yeah. Pretending at first, right? And you were like, yeah, maybe you have got an agenda. Yeah, why don't you come visit us and all of that and whatnot. No, like, my problem is, if you come tell me to visit you and I hurt you, and you keep on telling me and telling me and telling me and calling me and all that, for me that's desperation and i don't do with people who are desperate guys you know desperation means wrong things come after that because people are desperate desperate to do you wrong desperate to betray you desperate to lie to you to manipulate you to all of that guys right well like okay i'm not gonna go with desperate people well i know they're my family uh they're my sister's kid they're not my brothers. I don't have to visit there every time. I have my own life. They've got their own lives. And yeah, life goes on, guys. But then my suspicion was my nephew wanted me to visit. Yo, visit, visit. If I don't visit, he comes over to my house. You see, not by his mommy's house. He comes to my house because if i don't go to his mom's house he comes here to my house my house that's my mom's house <laughs> right yeah so like he would come and tell me like yo take care of this person here he needs you or she needs you know i don't wanna only to find out yeah he's been going to court between me and all that and yeah my kid got taken away because of my nephew going to court behind my back telling people that i'm a druggie and all that and yeah i just want to show you that these are the things that are happening in 
our lives because you know we like we think that family is family i need to find out like no this person is always going to be betraying you guys you know they're going to go in with your ex because the ex is giving them money betray I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna give you money to betray rosie in this way let's go to court without her knowing betray her like this so you see some people's connections are not real a lot of people choose to come together pretending to be cool to each other a lot of people would be a family and still pretending that they are cool with each other you see so like yeah some of these people in our family they'll be acting like they are holier than thou and all that and whatnot only to find out that yeah it's just a facade, a facade that they put guys you know a mask i'm trying to people yeah they want to be this goody goody two shoe guy and all that i have never drank alcohol and all that i don't do drugs and stuff but by the corner they be doing it you see these are the kind of people who had sold their soul guys so when i am here encouraging people to keep away from these kind of people they don't like that so they will go and do voodoo for me not to be here and encourage you to do better in life to help me do better in life we help each other do better in life so the world gets to be a better place i can never say like i have a problem with muslim religion or the way of life but when one comes or embrace the religion under a pretense to for people that okay i am going this way and they're really not going that way but they have sold their soul to the devil and all that i have a problem with that i have a problem with people who would pretend that they are straight when they know that they are gay and they were talking about you out there that oh rose is bisexual and all that i don't have a problem with being bisexual i don't have a problem with anybody being gay or anything like that i've never experienced or i have never experimented on going out with a woman before but yeah most of my guys most of my friends are guys right so yeah but somebody will tell you like yo that's haram what you're doing your lifestyle is haram and all that and whatnot so like what what are you talking haram you are gay but you've got a whole lot of kids you're trying to prove that you're a guy and you're lying to your wife where or wherever you go everywhere you go you are dogging people you are talking bad about people you know even when you haven't seen that somebody before like let's say a decade but still you want to be talking bad about other people hey yo you see my aunt i don't have my aunt and all that why not just because generally in families we are competing whether we like it or not you tell yourself that okay i'm gonna live my life like this but on the other hand yeah your nephew is competing with you your nephew who is older than you who is your sister's kid will be competing with you thinking that oh i wish you didn't get born i wish you was not born because you occupying the space that you were in i could have been there you see your business could have been mine your house could have been mine your kids i don't want you to have peace in your life and all that so what they do is yeah pretending that they are muslim yeah they will practice voodoo guys you know do graveyard spells and all that do manipulation spells and all that all kinds of spells just to make you be off your track so they be seen as this person who is the sun where everybody can be the sun guys you know yeah we are all stars and no star is brighter than the other guys you know it's just up to you how you want to live your life yeah well everybody's got their own path guys you see so if your ancestors choose you and you get to be a chosen one chosen one in your family yeah some people don't like that at all some people don't like that you can heal other people some people don't like that your ancestors chose you to heal the lineage guys so they will be pretending that oh i'm goody goody i'm a muslim yo and all of that they will tell you that you are 
the enemy. I've pulled my energy back. And yeah, I don't do frenemy. Whether you are family, whether you are not family, I don't do for enemies. I've made my cycle smaller so I understand and I know what is going on around me. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, life is good. Some people don't want you to be smiling or laughing or anything like that, guys. A lot of people like, in their families can't talk about stuff like this. So instead, they'll be quiet about it. You see, there is these other characters in a whole lot of families where like they cannot be opposed, guys, you know. They cannot be opposed. So whatever they say or whatever they do, even if it's wrong, people will follow it. What I've seen is that after my nephew would be like, yo, you're an enemy and all that. I feel like, what? I'd be telling his wife, yo, stop that. Don't do that. Wait, 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 wait. We can't be helping our enemies out here. So I figured, what? Why are you using those kind of jaggings? Enemy. You see. But God has reassured me that, oh, it's okay to have enemies in your life. You see. Yeah. Enemies. Guys, <laughs> you see, so yeah, it's not a problem that somebody is your enemy or not. Um, yeah, we have got to be poised and ready, guys, for whenever they come, do their manipulation, or whenever they go out there and tell people lies about you and all that. Like, yeah, all you gotta do is stay calm, cause yeah, whatever somebody does or say about you doesn't mean that it's true. It doesn't mean that it's true. I mean, like, most of us never really got along with our siblings or our siblings' kids. Because, if not in every family, in some families, like, yeah, there are these siblings where when they have kids, their kids are like glasses, guys. So, they, you know, they cannot be touched at all, even if they're wrong. You see, so these kind of people would be going around thinking that, oh, yeah, they are perfect. They're, they can never do wrong. And yeah, just because their mom was, yeah, that person. You see what I'm saying? I don't think I get along with all my nieces and nephews. No, I don't. I don't because I'm the last born in my family. And two of my nephews are older than me. And the rest are more or less same age group as me. So... They wanna rule me, guys, when I'm their auntie. How can you rule your auntie? How can you rule your auntie? I've got a brother and a sister left. We are three. So obviously they can't come and step in front of me and tell me like, yo, this is how you should do and live your life and all that. No, they can't come to my house and tell me how to live my life when they have their own home. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so... It's one of the analogies and examples that I'm giving you guys so you realize what is going on with people who surround us. With the people we think that we love and they love us back. With the very same people we grew up with, caring for, would come and borrow your t-shirt and all that. So we like going to go and get a girl, give him my advice and all right, to go get a girl. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes... People don't want you to be bigger than them, guys, you know? Sometimes people don't want you being smarter than them. You see, I've realized that I have always romanticized my nephew. Like, oh, this guy, yeah, he goes to church. Yeah, he's got a family on his own and all that and whatnot. Since he was really, really, like a very, very young age. Yeah, from his teenagehood, you see. And, yeah, he got married under false pretenses, guys. You see, he couldn't accept that he's gay, so he had to prove to himself that he can make it. You see, these are the kind of people where, like, even when they are wrong, they want to be right. Some incidences is, like, when our parents are sick, we should be really careful of the people who take care of our parents, guys, you know? And, like, yeah, trust is really, really something else, guys, you know, because I remember my nephew giving my mom a whole lot of pills, guys, you know, a whole lot of pills. He'd be like, oh, no, these are Chinese pills. 
He's not gonna heal you nicely and all uh, that. The next day, my mom was in the hospital and a couple of days later he was up because of this nephew bus, you see. So people would go out and talk about you bad because you are better than them. People would go out and talk about you because, yeah, you are well mannered better than them even though you grew up under the same family you see like these things start from a really really early age where when somebody comes in the room they would expect you to get up because they want to talk to your mom because yeah they want to have their things private and all that so since i've noticed that from my nephew when we were really really young yeah he's older than me but uh, he thought like oh yeah he can bully me around and all that and whatnot where that is not happening that's not happening well i respect people but i love people who invest in themselves guys you know you can't tell me that no i don't want to go to school because there's this teacher who's always asking me questions and all that and you don't get to have your matric even after you don't get your matric, you still don't want to go to college and upgrade yourself and all that, you see. So, how would you know it's the right dosage to give somebody a whole lot of pills like that? I'm talking like 70 pills, guys, you know. And I don't know what got into my mom to get all of those pills. But sometimes, somehow, I understand because, like, yeah, if you were raised going to private schools and all that, people would think that, yeah, you know a lot, and you are well studied and all that, but if you don't get matric, you didn't really do anything. You didn't really complete the foundation phase of your life. Education, guys, how are you going to understand other things when you never really completed a foundation phase? For me, high school, still foundation phase. You see, because there's tertiary and all that. Yeah, I understand. It's still school. But uh, you put it on some uniform, and there's still, you're doing grades on it. You see, so but some people would come to you when they know that, oh, this person has got a degree on sports and science and all that. But they would come and try and tell you that, yo, you can't work out like this and all that and whatnot. You see what I'm saying? No, guys, some people just want to be knowing stuff when they really don't know anything. Because what I've realized, I live by this policy where like, the more I think I know, the more I don't know anything. Which is why I would encourage myself to keep on learning and research and all that, guys, you know, about stuff that I want to do and stuff that I really, really want to learn about. You see, like, yeah, people should be confident, guys, you know. I grew up where, like, in a family where, like, yeah, I had to be a bigger person because my nephews and nieces were going to these expensive schools. Yeah, even when they were having some trips and all that and whatnot, yeah, I had to be a bigger person and, yeah, pull back. And not have other stuff because my mom would pay for their stuff, you see. My mom would help their mom pay for their house and all that. But they see you as, ah, well, this person, nah, his mom is not the shit and all that. Well, you know that your mom is the shit. And, yeah, your mom is helping everyone in your home. But still your nephews will tell you like, yo, my mom is the shit. Where their mom was not the shit. You see, if you have your own company, a gym or anything like that, and you be asking your parents to like, yo, help me with the rent to pay for my gym and stuff like that. Or like, help me with the mortgage and all that. My Kashan house is gonna be. No, no. We learn to take it and get it out of the mud on our own. And yeah. We be ourselves, we be confident, and we don't be a hypocrite, guys, you know? We mean what we say, and we say what we mean. Like I'm saying right now, I mean it, and yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm calling it as it is. The space is a space, you know? Because a whole lot of people tend to be pretending amongst each other, you know? Yeah, you go with somebody. Yeah, they'll be pretending to see you and all that. When they know that, they want to voodoo you. And they want to take you off your destiny, guys. No, this person is staying alone there. No, that house should be mine. No, this person is the last one by their house. No, it's got a house and another house. Yeah, we're going to change this wheel. You see. 
we're gonna change this wheel so like yeah this house we share everybody will share you see but then if a parents chose that oh this person is gonna be inheriting my things and all that and they tell someone like yo this is how things are gonna go and all that if they choose not to listen you're still gonna get your stuff you're still gonna get your inheritances and all that but this person here who's an, a hindrance yeah will have to pay the price of why they do what they do you see what i'm saying life has consequences there's law of attraction there is law of nature there is law of give and take there's law of everything you see and i choose to speak the truth every time whether you are here or not i choose to speak the truth i've been romanticizing my nephew for like a really really long time i thought he was the person that i could trust because yeah he was the kind of person where i would go to him and tell him my problems and all that when my neighbors are giving me grief and all that, i would let them know like yo this is what's going on and all that one or he'd be like yo you want me to come far? no i am just talking to you offloading venting to you because i trust you it hasn't to be like doesn't have to be like fighting all the time people need to be vent sometimes to people who they trust but if you don't wanna have anybody you trust around you, revenge it was God. Father God is there for you. You see. You see. Because he's been telling me about this nephew of mine. You remove this person from me. Remove this person from you. This person here is betraying you and manipulating you. And my husband has been telling me that. But I had to like see it myself when I heard, yo, you are the enemy. And it echoed like enemy. <laughs> that was hectic that was hectic guys but i was assured that it's okay if somebody declares to be your enemy it's fine because yeah rejection is protection and yeah we don't help our enemies guys right whether they are kid are sick and they need healing from you we don't help our enemies whether they need money to buy whatever they want to buy for their meal and all that. No, we don't help our enemies. We don't. Because if somebody declares that you are an enemy, that's what it is. The true colors of shown. If not, they want to talk about you. It's nothing good comes out of their mouth. You see what I'm saying? It's time we realize who our families are. And really, really take them for who they are. Doesn't matter if somebody wears like Muslim clothes and all that and pretend to be holier than thou when they know that they do voodoo and all that African signs, guys. You see, some people hide behind church clothes, and yeah, it's our duty to really, really discern and yeah, figure them out. Because if you're not gonna figure them out, you're always gonna be misled and be put in this path where like people will be like yo this person no this person is useless is a druggie and all that and whatnot talking bad about you where there is nothing like that about you guys you know i mean like i have a business here where if i was a druggie i would have sold everything around me right or in my house and everything like that right i would be there by town guys you see don't tell me about weed Weed ain't a drug. Weed is a herb. You see. You don't tell me about weed. It's more like ayahuasca, you know. So like, yeah, let's just be aware of these kind of people in our lives, guys, you know. I can't say let's go detach from the BS, from the foolery and the fuckery when I am attached to the fuckery in my family. So even me, I am letting go and detaching from the foolery and the fuckery. The family members are breaking too much. My sister doesn't like me at all. And yeah, he chucks everybody out of the house. This is my home. I own this table, this room, the sky, the land. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't get along with my family. And I'm happy because I got to understand that, yeah, there is always negative and positive and when they are together out there yeah they are a coven 
talking about you because yeah you are different from that and to them it's a problem because they want you to give to them give 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 what about your children what about you see what i'm saying you don't got to be giving to anyone life is like the zoo do not feed do not feed put god in your first good put god first in your life and the rest shall follow grass. Be truth to yourself and stay authentic. And if anybody didn't tell you that they love you, I do. Peace out. I'll see you later. <laughs>